Hey guys, Missy Kane here. It is that time of day. It's time to get fit. It is time to have lots of fun. So glad you're tuning in and we're going to do some chisel type of workout. Get the cardio up, but also work core, um, work up a little bit of that muscle strength too. And I've got a buddy in the house from Oak Ridge area and she's been working on chiseling, right Pam? Yep. <laughs> Pam Ratledge, thanks Cameron for being on the show, show ma'am. I nice talked you into it. it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Pam, tell everybody uh, where you live, what you do, retiree. Yes, um, I live in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and I retired from ORNL, where I worked for th 33 years. And now I just play. Yes. I hike, I bike, <laughs> I row, play pickleball, play volleyball, <laughs> exercise. She does it all. Everything. Um, what do you put on the, when you have an email from you, what does it say at the end? I just, I, I just like having, or just, uh, I, I just like now. having fun. Yeah, I just like having fun. See, and that's, what, that's what fit and fun is. That's my is. signature. That's what fit and fun <laughs> is. So we are going to do some warm ups now. Do back and forth with me in your living room or on a step. And you can add some arms in there. We're going to warm up like this. Keep going while we show you some pictures of some of Pam's uh, play adventures that she does now instead of working all the time. Um, <laughs> Because we go all over the place. Where were this? This was? In Oak Ridge on one of the greenways. Great trails up there. It goes all behind Big Ed's and all that, doesn't it? Yes. All through the city. That was a recent one. That's uh, <sighs> Laurel Falls. Ramsey Cascades. No? Ramsey Cascades. Yeah, it looks like Ramsey Cascades. Yeah, that's Ramsey Cascades. Or Abrams. Cascade. Um, and I love oh. that one. That's when we went to Brady Mountain. And that is off of the Crab Orchard exit, folks, and part of the Cumberland Trail. It is gorgeous, isn't it? Yes, it's amazing. It's beautiful. What you could see is amazing. And Rocky, my little dog, was there now. Where was this one? That's, uh, oh, um, Grotto Falls. Grotto Falls yeah, in the park. Yeah, we started at Trillium Gap. And you've got some pictures. Let's hold this one. We're going to stretch it out. Keep um, stretching out, guys. Um, another falls, and I think that is Abrams. Uh, is that no. I'm trying oh. to think. Baskin Creek. Baskin Creek, yes. Because you're doing one of the challenges is um, in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Yes. A hundred. hundred miles. Mm -hmm. um, so we try to go at least once a week. I think I got about 30 so far. Right. Switch um, legs, do another lunch while you're watching this with us. This is Crab Orchard exit. Uh, three beautiful 29. Area. And that was Joe, your former boss that you still work with some. Yeah. He says, I have to call him my friend now. <laughs> He's not my boss. I don't think I'll ever have a boss again, is what he told me. Great <laughs> property. We went there after going to Ozone Falls, and that's close to Crossville. A lot of pretty areas. I think that's one of my new favorite areas to go play, is yeah, the Crossville Cookville area. Yeah. You no, know, it's great. All right, we're going to do a few more of these. Now, what we're going to do is, Pam's going to help me through this. Poor thing, she... I talked her into doing my fitness show, and then I said, by the way, you're going to help lead it. <laughs> um, you and Carol Osborne have been doing a, like a program, a 21-day fit fix type of program where you eat better, and yes. you exercise, and you have tapes, right? Yes. Um, it's Carol Osborne kind of got me hooked on it because um, once I quit retiring, I didn't, I mean, I exercise all the time, but right. I ate bad, I drank beer, so. Um, time for a change. Yeah, I had to lose a little bit of weight. Two so. more. Carol got me hooked in it. Was, it's called a 21 day fix. And, and basically you exercise for 30 minutes for 21 days. Right, and it's it's not that hard. It's something that we do here on Fit and Fun with weights, active weights. So you guys try to gather around a five pound, eight pound weights or go to your closet, get something for resistance. If you don't have it, you can still get a good workout in. You don't even have to start with weights. You could just do the routines without the weights to begin with. Just get We're active. gonna do about a minute, like a minute of something, a, a 15 second rest, do a couple sets and then move on to something else. All right, first one, so I'm gonna use my eight pound weights, what are you gonna use? What are we gonna do? The one that you just showed me that with you're the moving arm. with okay. the, with the. Um, okay, so you keep put the weight in your left hand. Okay. And lunge, to, no, wrong. Lunge to the right, and then come back up. Okay, so right, you lead me through lunge one. to the Here, right. right. Uh, okay, I got it, all right, good everybody. We're gonna do this for about 45 more seconds. Okay. So just this side first. And good. then we'll switch sides. Yeah. And you can feel that we're using our Use your glutes, deltoid, yeah, your legs, your quads, arms. And you guys out there, you can adapt this. For instance, if you can't go down very low, I don't either. Just go to the point where you can feel comfortable with your knee. 
and keep that elbow a little bit soft, meaning that you're not just extremely straight on it. And don't raise it much, you know, about shoulder level. We got about 15 more seconds. Good job. 10 more seconds for this side. And then we're gonna take a 15 second break in between. Last one on this side. Okay, now let's hold that weight <clears throat> like this, Pam. And in between, let's just kind of do a stretch like this. Back and forth. Stretching out those arms. Good job. And you guys, if you ever want to, you can always search Missy Fit and Fun and you'll find the website, which is covenhealth.com slash uh, fit fun. And you can see who's gonna be on the show. So for instance, if you want to do a weight workout, then you can do it maybe one Tuesday, the next day maybe yoga. So you guys are welcome to use that DVR and use it. Use the show. Okay, now we did that side. Show me how it looks on the other side. So on the right side, put it in your right hand, lunge to the left, and come bring up. Bring it to so your right. Down, down and up like this, right? Okay. Yep. And again, you can use no weight at all and still get a workout with this, or I've got about a eight pound, you got nine, I think. Yeah. Make sure you keep your weight on the heel of your foot when you come back. And you need to lead with that derriere behind you. Let yes. your rear end go back. About 20 more seconds, 25 more seconds. I can feel it. Yep. Woo. Pam Ratledge is in the house. <laughs> and retiree, your husband Teddy's still working. Yep, Good. he's still working. <laughs> and golfing, <laughs> right? Golfing, and now he's gotten to ride motorcycles. Uh -oh. so. 10 more seconds. And he bikes sometimes too, a little bit of biking, bike biking. He says we killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Two more. <laughs> Last one. Okay, now 15 seconds, let's get a water. A little water break. And again, I've got some recipes for success. If you call in the 541 4500, and Carol's in there, some other people that have lost weight about cutting down their sugars and their carbs. Yep. Not healthy carbs. No, it's you not can no eat, carbs. You can it's eat plenty of food. You do not have to starve. You just got to eat proteins, vegetables, fruits. Okay, now let's do the same thing up front. We're going to do two sets. So we're going to start out again. And I think we had it in our left arm on this one. Where do we uh -huh. start this way? Okay, show me again so I do it right. So you lean to the right, bring your weight down, and come up. And straight up. Okay, out to so the side. Lunge. And then I don't want to hit pain. That's why I was kind of adjusting <laughs> my. my <laughs> And again, with this, you want to have a little bit of a soft elbow. Yeah, not, not real straight. tight. And I'm not going higher than my shoulder height. I like it. I like different moves. And of course, different moves will get a little bit different muscle. Well, because you're using work. both your arms, your legs, your rear end. Mm -hmm. It's more than one muscle group. 25 more seconds. And you know, my breathing's up. We're lifting weights, supposedly, but we're still getting cardio. Oh, yeah. It's... Good job, everybody. About five more of these. Four. Three. And see, Pam can go down more than me. That's okay. Last one. Okay, let's set it down in between for 15 seconds. Big arm circles. Exaggerate them. Even get that back involved. And I met Pam through the Oak Ridge Girls. Janie, Mary, Patty, Joan, Donna, Dana. There's yeah. a bunch of them out there. They keep Betty Lou. Yeah. Betty Lou, yeah. A lot of fun. Oak Ridge Girls have fun. A lot of don't retired they? people. A lot well, of Oak retired Ridge has some active. great places to play. A lot play. of retired active play people. Yeah. Okay. One more set of what Pam was showing us to do. I'll let her lead one and then I kind of okay. join in with so Pam. So we're going to go to the. Right. Okay, come over here just a tad because our set's kind of small. Okay. Oh, I did that all my way, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this time you're going this way. And then up. And up. Here. So you're going to the left. Up. Yeah. Squat. And up. Or lunge, I guess okay. it is. Good job, everybody. We've got about 35, 40 more seconds. 40 more seconds. We're going between 50 and a minute on each one of these. 50 seconds and a minute. 
Again, keep the weight on the back part of your heels and not on the forefront of your foot. Derriere, rear end leading in the back. Push it back to have proper form. Because I have bad knees, so I kind of know I've got to do that. Good job. You played softball a long time, didn't you? Can you softball, volleyball? Now you're doing a pickleball. Pickleball. <laughs> That's popular, Oh, though. my gosh. It's so fun. A lot of the rec centers in your area will just check it out. Two more. Last one. Okay. Set it down. Woo. All right. A little water break. Yeah. Cardio is with the weights. You start getting that breathing Good workout, up. though. And I'll check our... We've already gotten in 500 steps so far Ooh. just doing that. All right, my turn. We'll kind of go back and forth. I'll lead this one. I'm going to get okay. my weight. Same weights, two weights on this one. Okay. All right, now on this one, I call it clean and jerk. So we're going to start like this, Pam. Okay. And we're going to bring it to the shoulders, overhead, shoulders, back to that squat like this. And okay. make sure on the squat we're kind of chin up okay, like that. chin up. Like Apple when we're down. Yeah. Chin. And then we're kind of coming. Shoulders, up, shoulders, down, just keep it going. Shoulders up. Good job. About 35 more seconds. Again, you don't have to have weights to do this. Um, main thing, again, is rear end's got to be behind you to make Save it. Save your knees. Oh, yeah. Good job. And a lot of people say, are you bored being retired? Are you? No, I can't get everything in I want to do. Three more. Thank goodness for smartphones. <laughs> Calendars. Mm -hmm. One more. I don't know how you could be bored. There's too much to do. Hand put it down. Okay, in between, we're gonna do an active stretch. I've had really tight quads. We're gonna do this for about 10, 15 seconds. Just back and forth because it kind of gets your quad stretched out a little bit. I get really bunched up thighs from hiking all the time. Yeah. You're flexible. I'm, a, I'm amazed how much, how cardio hiking is. Oh yeah, a lot of calories. I do, I mean, all the stuff I do and, and hiking is probably the hardest thing for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's some weird. of the hills that we do. Um, and the great thing, I've got a hiking 101 booklet. You're welcome to call in and they can mail you one is just finding a group, finding a few key things as far as shoes, hiking poles help. Hiking poles are really nice for going downhill. And you know, once you find a bunch of buddies, you're on your way, but we'll and you're talk about this. outside and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Pam has good balance, but sometimes if you're older, Pam's younger than me, you gotta work on that balance. And even doing some of this today is working on balance. We're doing another of the clean and jerks here. Also this way. Oh. We come to the shoulders, press up, here and down. Good job. And I give people the thing as far as, you know, standing in front of the mirror, if you're brushing your teeth, if you're putting on your lotion in the morning, uh, practice for at least 30 seconds standing on one foot and balancing. And then switch. Good job. Because hiking is fun for all ages. Joan Lane, our buddy, oh, yeah. is 80 81. plus now. Yeah. And she's hikes incredible. And she's an incredible rower. Yeah. 10 more seconds. You guys, you don't have to go fast on this. You can go your own pace. Just don't quit. One more. Do one minute, drop the weights, whatever. Just move. Last one. Okay. Set those down. Take some water in between, or we're going to stretch a little bit. Again, we were doing this. We can see if we can balance. I don't know if I can balance. Get some water, stretch that quad out if you need to. It's kind of hard to do sometimes. Just hold it. All right, Pam, what's another one you have on your list that you All like right, to do on your so table? I'm gonna show you the dreaded burpee. Okay, and then I'll, we'll and I'll adapt miss, it. Okay. We'll let Missy modify yeah. for the people that don't want to do it, but most people don't like to do burpees, but they're a great exercise, and this kind of adds a lot more to it. Okay, so I'm gonna squat. I'm gonna put my weights down and jump back into a burpee. I'm gonna do a right row, left row, in, up, row. Wow, okay, and I've got five pound weights and I'll adapt a little bit. 
We're going to do it for about a minute, and I'll follow Pam and you guys too, and then we'll take a break. Okay. You go ahead, and I'm just going to follow right. you. And you see me, I'm kind of stepping back. Jumping forward and up. Down, step back. Right, I'm a little bit slower than Pam, that's okay. It's all right, take your time, just do it. Okay, just keep going. The only thing I'm doing different, guys, is I'm just taking a step back instead of jumping and a step forward. I think we got one more set. One more set. Step back, lift, lift, step up. I like it. That's I a like great it. exercise, great cardio. Go. We're gonna do another set, so get some water. 15 second break. You can tell our breathing's up. Sweaty. <laughs> mm -hmm. And one thing I like to do with the steps that I use here is it gives you a little bit of an easier angle than the floor, just a tad, yeah. you know, which yes. is fine. But look at us, we are sweating, which is good. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do another set of Pam's burpees. I do step backs instead of burpees. So we're starting and like- And if you want, you could do a regular burpee, which is basically- Yeah, yeah. But it's still Go great. for it if you can, if you have good knees. And you're, some of the 10 year olds out there can do it. I'm sure they can. All right. So we start out and we go down to go our down. burpee position. Step back. Right row, left row. Keep going, Pam. I'm a little slower than you, but that's okay. All right. Y'all remember this exercise. Do you know what they call this exercise? We could make up the Pam. I don't know. Pam. I'm sure they got a burpee name. Burpee lift. And I'm doing a little bit lighter weights than Pam. I've got five pounds. She's a stud. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been doing these for a little bit now. Two more of these. Lift. One more, you can do it guys. Lift, lift, back up. All right, looks good. Rest for 15 seconds. Right. Ooh, good one, that was a good one. I like it. Okay, we're gonna take one weight. We're gonna go back to the, the beginning and I'm gonna use a, I can use this. I would say use a five pound maybe eight pound if you've been lifting a lot. We're gonna do something similar to Pam did. I'm gonna do just one side. So this, the, the lower body move looks like this. Kind of like a curtsy squat. So we're taking that left leg behind us. Okay. And if you have bad knees, you can just go like this and balance. Like this. And then our upper body is kind of the same thing. A little bit of a, more of a bend on this one. And so we're gonna take it out like a lever. It's just a slight bend and out. So it's gonna look like this, Pam. Out. Together, huh. same thing. Out. Whatever you want to do with your other arm, you can put it on your hip or balance it out. And we've got about 30 more seconds. Because this is tougher for me with my shoulder. I can't have a heavy weight. This my right shoulder is bad. Okay, you need a lighter weight? I don't love to do it. Two more. Last one on this side. Okay, set it down in between. And we're gonna cut them down in a squat position here and stretch out our arms for about 15 oh, seconds. Oh, that's great. Cause that's softball injury, I bet, isn't it? The Got shoulder? psyched here in my rotator cuff and I don't wanna no. really do surgery. <laughs> no. Which one is it, your right or left? Right. Oh, which one you just did. All right, here, you use this one. No, this one's only one pound lighter, so it doesn't matter. Oh, we're doing the same one? So we're doing the same thing, but we're gonna do the other side. The other side, okay? all use a lighter weight So what we're right. doing on this side, guys, is we're, this arm out, and then we're gonna take that little curtsy behind it, so it looks like this. It's curtsy, back together. So are you, let's see you do your arm. Um, here, let's and I'm kind of like stepping behind me like a curtsy, like a old-fashioned curtsy. Good job. Let's see here on our time. About 35 seconds more. I'm doing about 45 seconds on these. You know, this is good for balance. I looked up and I didn't have my balance as much. You gotta concentrate. 
Good job. Four more. Back. One more. Good job, everybody. Set that down. A little water. I'm going to use one of those lighter ones for... Yeah, get that one of those for the, or right the five side. even. This will be good. About a 15 second break. And we're gonna do one more set. And how you wanna go to a five on the right? Okay, here, let's do, let's go down one. We got about five more minutes. This is our last oh. exercise and we're gonna cool down. Oh, I Let's make it easier, because if we need to cool down, we wanna kinda take it easier the last few minutes. That's good physiology, so I need to use my expertise here. So we're gonna start out with our right arm looks left, but we're gonna do the curtsy to this side. And oh. we're just having a bend in that elbow the whole time. It's kinda like it's an L shape. Taking it away from us. Good job. Looking good out there. And like Pam was saying, you know, for weekend warriors, you know, if you do 20 minutes or something like this during the week, yeah. and then go on a nice, good hike on the weekend, right? Yeah. And you'll be in good shape. Or retirees, hey, there's Fairfield Glazers hiking groups all over the place now. Teleco. Yeah. Anywhere, every mountain, and we have everything yeah. in our backyard. We're blessed. One more. We are. I've, we've been doing some stuff on Fox 43 about waterfalls, and there are so oh, many waterfalls, beautiful. of course, in the Smokies, but in the Cookville, Crossville, Crab Orchard area, eight big waterfalls. When you count oh, Burgess, yeah. Virgin, Cummins. Cummins. Oh, it's amazing. Beautiful right. swimming holes. Well, on this one again, we're going to the side, taking that curtsy behind us. Looks like this. So it's to the left. Good job. Whatever you want to do with that other arm for balance on your hip or out to the side. Working that deltoid, but not too hard. But I think um, weight training really comes into play. Athletes need it, but as we age, osteoporosis, this is great for bone and density. And you, you don't even need heavy weights. Mm -mm. Do light. Three more. Two more. Last one. Okay, set those down. We have run out of time. We may have to do a stretch down in a plank position. And I may let you guys stretch and I'll have Pam show us what she does when she does her planks. Okay, so you guys can follow along. If you don't want to do this last exercise, I would suggest that you stretch your hamstrings, maybe a little bit of your arm at the same time, like that back and forth. We're gonna do a plank and then I'll close the show in just a second. Keep stretching if you need to, but we're gonna be down here. Show them that plank where you go to the side. Okay, so. And I'm just gonna hold my plank. You can make this fun if you're with a group, mm -hmm. but basically you go left front, right front, left back, Right back. So you can just play a game with it, like and going around the clock. you can go right back, right back, left back. Try to throw people off who's ever calling the signals. Yeah. Just so make sure with this, you keep like your you back could flat. Touch right. Right. Right foot. Right foot. Left foot. Left foot. Left, left hand. hand. Yeah. Right hand. Right hand. Right foot. Right foot. Left, left foot. foot. Left yeah. hand. Okay. We're going to hold it here. We're going to come down a little bit more like this, slowly down, and we're going to stretch it out. Good job, Ray. Now, this one, this is a, a little bit of a, get him coming all the way down like this. This is very selfish stretch, Pam. I had my back go out a couple weeks ago. Oh. I went to Mark Conley, and um, he told me, Missy, you need to lay on the floor flat, and then yes. gradually push up to this and just stretch, and just lay here for a second, and let your back kind of fall into the ground. Mm -hmm. And that really can help some low back issues. I had some low back issues and, uh, and went to physiotherapy and one thing I learned and anytime it hurts that I do it, lean up against your counter and mm -hmm. just lean back. Yeah. Do that 10 times every morning and it's, it's amazing. All right, last one, we're gonna come on up here and we're gonna do a stretch Pam likes to do for hip flexor. She said, we're gonna oh, end up yeah. like this. And um, make you sure can, your hip, hips are pushed forward. Yeah, push it forward. And Stretching. you can take those arms back too. Pam, yeah. that was a good workout. I am sweating, great. I'm sweating, I'm sweating too. <laughs> <laughs> a little perspiration, it's good. <laughs> That's but, good. But see, it was a 28 minute workout, and if you did this every other day, and then a long hike on the weekend. Wow, that did, that went fast too. Tell the Oak Ridge girls I said hello. I will. Hi out there, Oak Ridge girls, Jane, everybody. It's been great.
See you next time. Life is more fun when you're fit. When you're fit. Yay. Yes. Other leg. Good job. Alrighty. Woo. Now up here. Shoulders back.